Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. We have the fabulous Karen Davies. Hello. Are you excited to be back? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yes, it comes around very quickly, doesn't it? <laughs> and you've got another, I know it does come around quickly, doesn't it? And you've got another new mold, Karen. I have, I have. Halloween. So, and I love time. it. Yeah. I have to say, I absolutely Good. love it. Aww. So I've asked Karen to come back into the kitchen. She's going to show you a new mold. We used it on Thursday. So those of you who saw Sicily on Thursday, we used the mold for the... Um, cellophane the edible cellophane so go and have a look at that it was quite nice to have a little wobbly uh, ghost and a pumpkin <laughs> so um, Karen's going to show you all the wonderful things this mold does tonight she's going to talk to you about a sugar paste she's going to do some colouring and um, what are rice crispy cakes what have got them for an emergency at the end of <laughs> if I run out of things to do okay. just to show people how quick and easy it can be Absolutely. I've even been baking this morning oh, I know I was I up saw very early baking. yeah <laughs> So lots of things to show you. So sit back, nice and comfy. Simon's on camera. I'm on comments. Enjoy your night. You enjoy Thank yours, you. Karen. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Right. Okay. Um, this mold, like, oh, you okay? <laughs> nearly, a, <laughs> nearly water or coffee everywhere. Then, um, yeah. This mold is part of the cookie range. You know, we've brought out these molds that you can use for cakes or cookies, and of course, Halloween. People like to do lots of little treats. It's not really, uh, you know, people don't usually do a big cake for a Halloween party, but sometimes they do. So this is good because it's got lots of different things on. But I am going to show you tonight how I would use it to decorate a larger cake. If it was, not that anyone will be having a big party this year, but for fr um, family, you know, children, grandchildren or whatever, yeah, well that's it's nice. ideal. Do you know what I think with all that's going on, Karen, mm. isn't it so nice to do something yeah. for the kids? They're not missing yeah. out. They can't go trick-or-treating. Yeah. They can't go to well, the yeah. parties, but yeah. they can make cakes. This this is perfect for uh, for children to use to, you know, just press the cookie dough in or sugar paste and then to paint them, dust them, decorate them or whatever. And I'll show you through this evening how to use them all how to do them all now this has just come out of the fridge so the, it's because it's so warm i can feel the condensation on it it's going like a bit damp and sticky so i just hope it's uh, going to be okay because what i did earlier um i melted some chocolate and put it into the broom here and i've taken it out i was so terrified because on the way the on the way here <laughs> if you wish on the way here everything melted in the car i had the air conditioning on but um, when, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, hello. when um when i got here this was actually still bending in the mold it was still very soft so i just took it out before we started to make sure it came out in one piece so that's the broom the witch's broom in chocolate completely in chocolate Love that idea. so it's melting in my hands so i've got to put that down Love very that quickly idea. but the other thing i've done with that today is I baked, I moulded cookie, okay, oh, I thought it was the same thing, and no, moulded cookie, and then I brushed it, that one I knocked, so there's a bit of a mess there, let's get the better one, um, brushed it with the chocolate instead, so that's quite nice, Absolutely just to have lovely. the so you just chocolate at the chocolate end, and brush, brush yeah, it. oh what a good mm -hmm. idea, yeah, just brush that on, and these are nice to put with mugs of hot chocolate, or cups yeah. of tea, or coffee, or whatever, on Halloween, or to give out when children knock at the door, Fabulous idea. <laughs> Love that idea. Okay, so well, we've got a massive audience for Aww. you tonight, as per usual. So Aww, they're all brilliant. here, they're all saying hello. Oh, that's nice. So everybody, if you want to shout out hello, give Karen lots of love hearts. Hope you all had a great weekend. Look at this fabulous cake. Turn around the right way. There we yeah, go. <laughs> uh, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this mold that she's got on offer tonight. On offer tonight. Well, it's not on offer. It's just been released. Um, you're going to love it. She's going to talk to you about a sugar paste and we're going to make, are you going to make this wish tonight? I am going to make this because it's very quick. Well, I hope it's very quick. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's the idea of our moulds. Yeah, the no, quick, quick and easy to do. So I've just brought a covered board with me to put her on there. Okay, so I'll get started. I mean, this is just a very simple cake, just covered with um, black and navy sugar paste mixed in but not very well you know so you get the marbling nice marble slight yeah, slight marbling yeah. effect and this one has as well which you can just about see it's just two different shades of blue i just use leftover paste because it's just for this board so if i take the mold and the witch you want the you know her head the broom and her feet okay for this one so we'll start with her face Oops, move that over a little bit 
molds. That's just some corn flour into the mold and then it's tapped out. Now the witch, I'll do this witch with a, a normal skin coloured face, you know, face. The, the witch on the cake I did in green. I thought it would be nice for us to have a green face, <laughs> the poor woman. <laughs> well, they're loving the mould already. Quite oh, a few people good. have already bought it anyhow, oh, which is great. Brilliant. Uh, oh, they're asking about you doing online classes with us, Karen. Oh, We've talked right. About yeah, I know. Before, I know. We? We do. Don't worry, yeah. girls. I have spoken to her about <laughs> it. And it was one of those, yeah, we must talk about it, Carol, oh, and no, the conversations never happen. I know. We're always so busy. There's so much yeah. going on what all the time. Would, what type of class would you like Karen to do with you online? Oh, yeah. Give us some ideas. Yeah, that would be the... <laughs> I think that's probably more yeah, the I've just been Karen, isn't it? really, really busy the last sort of month or two trying to get Christmas things done yeah. ready believe it or not um and I was saying to Carol before you know just trying to get them ready and get them right and it always when you're trying to hurry up and get everything done they always go wrong don't they so I'm getting there I think I've just got one left to sort of finish off now there I've just put the paste into her hat and then I'm going to put it into her hair each side as well because I want to do her face in a different color if I just did it in white it's hard then to get a good colour on right. the black and the right sort of shade for her face. So with some of the moulds, I do like to put separate colours in. And because it's warm tonight, and the paste feels quite sticky. Sorry, it was just going so, very blurred. Oh dear. And if anyone heard any swear words, you're quite <laughs> right. He did swear, and I shall slap him oh, no. afterwards. Because <laughs> he's right next to the microphone, and everyone would have heard him. Oh no. So, did you hear oh, him? No, did I didn't. Hear him, no. Karen? No, no, so, no yeah. I'm busy. Yes, I'm concentrating. <laughs> so. Yes, I was busy concentrating. Yeah. Messing <laughs> up. I still heard you. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Oh, there's a little bit, a tiny bit of fringe there, like hanging out of her hat. So I need to put a tiny little piece in, which you've only just seen. Uh, Bianca said, there's just something about your, your molds. They're beautiful. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. And they're all laughing about me about to slap Simon for swearing. <laughs> Don't worry, anybody. He's not a child. He's a 50-odd year old man. <laughs> So we can say things it. like that. <laughs> it looks a bit daft sat on the naughty set. <laughs> <laughs> now, because my hand's quite hot, it's sometimes the more you try to get the little pieces, little areas filled with paste, you, you're you making the paste hotter and stickier. So if you use a tool, either a Dresden tool or a small ball tool, that helps to push it in rather than using your hands all the time. So like I say, it's um, the paste is quite sticky, so I shouldn't need to put any glue on the area. I'm just making sure I don't get too much to put in. And I'm making sure now I get it nice and smooth before it goes into the mould. Okay. So I've just flattened it a little bit. Pop that on. If you do feel sticky, because the paste comes out of the mould so easily, put a little bit of corn flour on your fingers or onto the back of the paste. Press you do make your mould so easy to use though, don't you? Hopefully. No, but every mould you've got, Karen, you make it yeah. so easy yeah. to use. Yeah. yeah, they should be. I mean, if the, the only time people go wrong, um, a lady rang me last week and said she was having difficulty with one of them. It was one of the thinner moulds that we do. And she was saying, the big ones are fine, the paste comes out, but this one's, I can't get the paste out. So straight away I said, what paste are you using? And she said, sugar paste. And it just isn't strong enough. Yeah. Although we call ours yeah. sugar paste, this is our sugar paste. Yeah. I think that confuses people sometimes because yeah, they, yeah, they'll they go and buy a different sugar paste. Yeah. This is more like a modelling paste, yeah. really. Um, well, so it's in between a modelling paste and a yeah. sugar paste, so it's not dead yeah. firm, yeah. but it's not soft. It is so firmer. Basically, it's a firm paste. Yeah, it is <laughs> firmer, but like it will soften up really well, really easily but it's not very sticky either. And it's yeah. quite strong, even when you get it very thin. It which you will see when I do her cloak what and her gown. That one is vanilla, sorry, oh. sorry. <laughs> you know I'd be it. She's a bit partial to the marshmallow, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> well, your whole fan club has been out, Simon, sticking up for you. Oh, oh, oh God. God. <laughs> you heard you. Oh, good. Uh, oh, we didn't oh. hear him, we didn't hear him. Oh, he's been on holiday, oh. give him a break. Poor old Simon. Oh. Yeah, I know. I did 
You went on holiday, where are you, love? I'm just putting a little bit more Moving pace. Moving his daughter from one university to another. They're all dead. Now, those who missed it are dying to know what you said. <laughs> what word but it we was. Will not be saying it again. I can see. It's a sugar paste. Oh, sorry. I don't what the problem was. Sorry. <laughs> I had to sneeze. Just that tickled. I don't want to sneeze anywhere near you. I have to get, try to keep away now as far as I can. Oh, dear. It's a tickle. Okay. They're loving it for Christmas ideas. Uh, oh, they would like Christmas ideas for an online crowd class, Karen. Oh, right. Okay. And you will be having mm. some nice stuff coming out for Christmas, won't you? We have. Yeah. We certainly have. I'm very excited yeah. about it. Okay. Don't worry, girls. I've already been either <laughs> enough. I'm this, always ahead of the game. This is ready to come out now. You can see it's quite loose. You see a lot of people with moulds doing this, going round them, loosening the edges. And you don't yeah. need to do that with these. No. The paste's right, the mould is right. So you just turn it over and it will just come out like that. I was using your Very mold easy. the other day in Georgie Gobble's class. And to be fair, yeah. I wasn't using yeah. your paste. I actually was using, um, mm -hmm. whose was I using? Oh, I don't know. It was yeah. either Renshaw or Select Island, but either one of them, it yeah. just, it, they just plopped out. That's yeah. how good Sometimes I tell people to put Tylo or CMC yeah. in it if they um, haven't got ours. Okay, so now all we need is the broom. Um, yes, Karen's bringing out quite a new new multi bring out Karen, for Christmas because they, they want to know if you can have a class with your new moulds. Um, there's seven. Seven new moulds? Oh my goodness. <laughs> right, girls, do you want me to set up a kitty but, and start saving? But they're not all big like this. Oh, are they? There are, are do there's ones, four then? smaller ones as right. well, which people might like. Crikey, I'm going to have to yep. set up a, 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 <laughs> a set. Do you want me to set up a little um, pot thing where you save up? <laughs> Oh dear. Right, so the broom. Let's put some cornflour into the broom. Uh, Geraldine, um, this is Karen Davis sugar paste. It's absolutely amazing. And if you've got marshmallow, you will not want to share it with anybody. <laughs> it is delicious. And Leslie Daly says, love, 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 marshmallow sugar paste. Mm -hmm. Hope you're heat eating it all yourself. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, she, Michelle Ward says she watched a programme on Netflix the other day and they used one of Karen's moulds and they used a sharp oh. knife to cut the excess off. Yeah. She was going mad. Oh, worried. And her husband well, was telling her to calm down. The thing is, I mean, yeah, you shouldn't use a sharp knife with a mould, but, no. but these are so strong. It, you'd find it very difficult to cut it with a sharp knife, to be honest. And they will last a lifetime, but, you know... Right, so that's ready to come out. Press really hard. You can press as hard as you want. It will still come out. So just turn it over. And there it goes. There we are. There's the broom. So now our boots. Right, I'm going to do two colours again in her boots. So some cornflour. Right. Plenty of marshmallow paste in stock. For anybody who's asking, so that was Brie, don't you've asked plenty of marshmallow paste in stock, don't worry. Karen's topped up. I don't know what we've done at the warehouse, but I think we've uh, missed an order or something because I ordered stock today thinking that we didn't have much in and then when I was checking our stock, we actually got loads in. <laughs> It'll soon go. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so I've just filled her boots. <laughs> Uh, Helen, Mouse, Helen Mouse says she loves your sugar paste Aww. and it was the only paste she could use when she did her daughter-in-law's mm. her son and daughter-in-law's wedding favours Lego bricks oh. oh brilliant okay so put her boots in I might actually just do some lighter grey to colour I'm going to brush colour on her stripy legs so if I just quickly mix some of this in I just want a lighter grey Rather than the dark grey, it'd be difficult to see the whatever colour I put on her legs. Mm -hmm. Maureen said she was using your paste today. She was doing a unicorn, using your mm. unicorn mould for a god goddaughter who will be eight oh, on Thursday. Lovely. Oh. And uh, Viv Goddard, will Karen's sugar paste be okay for the dragon class on Jerry's course on Friday? Yes, it will. Um, but yes, it will. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, the mitre in there. What have we got for Christmas? Ah. 
It's top a secret. secret. Can't tell yet. Can't tell. Hey, even mm. I've not got the information no. over yet. The door can She's not getting out the gates <laughs> <till> after. <laughs> she's told me. <laughs> when will you be releasing them? When? I don't know. As soon Are you as you release them here, Karen. That's put her on the Yeah, spot. it depends. It just <laughs> depends because I've got my date booked in, haven't I, for the next yeah. one. So when are you booked in here then? For it the depends, next? like when we get the photographer yeah. in to get the leaflets and then with the, over the road, the printers, getting that sorted out, how busy they are. and Because I, I just want to release them next week. I just want them out because I, I can't wait. Don't worry, I can fit you in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can fit her in, girls. I've got every Monday free. You know, as soon as this, as soon as we release this Halloween, I said, right, I can't wait for these Christmas ones to come out yeah. now, you know. Well, I think if you've got seven, I do love Christmas, get them Christmas cakes. Say, what's all them? I love them. Yeah. So there we go. Oh, isn't that lovely, that? Okay. I like that. <laughs> Very nice. It looks nice. Well, Just I the think, pale grey and the dark grey. I think, well, yeah, you can leave it like that. You don't mm -hmm. have to do anything else to it. I think I'll show you what I do with these now as well. Um, right. I've got... Let's get some legs. There's some that I've dusted and coloured, which I'm going to do now. I'll show you anyway. And then you can pipe a buttercream swirl on top of the cake. Cut the cake and put them in. I can't really tip no, them. No, I'll tip it backwards a no, little bit. No, 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 is it okay? Just forwards. Turn it Hold it like that. That so way. The camera, you can zoom in. Zoom yeah. in there. Okay. Yeah. Now I'll show you another version. So that's the Halloween version. Okay. Put that down. And then we have oh, a, wow, you a girl. <laughs> Christmas oh, version. I think a bit of the black powder's what rubbed off what the boots. Girl there. You are there. There's the Christmas okay. elf coming out. Yeah. It just needs a bit more black powder. I think I've pushed it in and out that many See, that's times. So good about you, multi-use. Yeah, you've got to. Yeah. You've got to get them, make girl. the most out of them. Clever, clever. Okay, so that's just pipe red with some sparkles on it or glitter. So. Oh look at that! They all can't wait for Christmas now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right, so that's all the all the pieces for the witch. So I'll do the colours now on her, I think, some of the powder colours and painting. Lynn Feather's going, oh no, just I've got no room for any more. I know. <laughs> the thing with Karen Davis Mould, you just got to buy them all, haven't you? They're just so good. <laughs> just gotta keep oh, buying wow. them. Only if you're gonna use them. You've got to use them. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so these are the, the pieces that I'm going to colour. So if I you just move that board out of the way for a minute. Yeah. Jacqueline Penfold says, I dare not tell my husband that when I seven new moles coming out, he will have kittens. Aww. Right, some pink powder onto the brush. Always rub it onto kitchen paper. Make sure there's no loose powder. And then brush and build the colour up gradually. Because you can put more on, but you can't take it off. So, and you don't want loose powder going everywhere, so that's, uh, that's the pink for that one. Now, let's get a white brush and paint in her eyes. I'm using, oh, that's what I knocked the chocolate broom with. Oh. <laughs> the chocolate on the lid. Some white powder, and I mix with alcohol because I want to paint over it straight away so the alcohol will dry very quickly or you can use lemon extract but that's got alcohol in as well which i didn't even realize <laughs> yeah well, this this one has ingredients ethanol 90 percent natural oil of lemon and water i thought it was all right. lemon yes <laughs> but it does dry quick as well so that's well, it good just got yeah ethanol yeah on, it? yeah um, is the marshmallow paste good for covering cakes? Well, that's all you use, isn't it? Well, I don't cover cake. I'll be honest, totally honest. Oh. I don't cover cakes with it. Some people prefer it to cover cakes. And some people don't. I thought that's all you use, I, cover cakes. No, no, not always. I'll do small cakes, oh. but really big cakes because it's quite firm. Yeah. If you're needing a big amount, I've got like painful joints yeah. and shoulders and neck and everything. <laughs> We're doing cakes for so many years. So I'll tend to use a softer sugar paste. Oh, right, okay. No, and I'm being honest. That, yeah. but, but we've got customers who buy it and they just love it, covering the cakes with it. You can also do a 50-50, though. You could use half you can. of yours and then uh, yeah. half the soft sugar you paste. You can, because it can improve the flavour yeah, as well. Exactly. A lot of people like the flavour and they'll do that just to uh, get a better taste because they don't like the taste of their sugar paste. They're laughing here. They're yeah. saving their marshmallow paste, but they oh. don't know what they're saving it for. <laughs> 
But I've got to be honest, I don't like giving anybody your pace when I've got it here. I always give them something else. Oh. Oh. That's if I've not eaten at first. Oh. See, there's a bit more there. I'll paint the pupils. Oh, you're all up on everyone's big TVs, Karen. They're all being Ooh. casting you over to what? the big TVs. Oh dear. I know it's a new word, that, isn't it? I only learned that word this, this time. Hey. Casting. Casting. Yeah, they, oh. flick, they get the phone yeah. and they flick you over to the TV. Oh. Isn't that good, that? Very good. Yeah. I only learned it a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. And I still don't know how to do it now. No. <laughs> need a wand. Hey? Need a wand. Yeah, and oh. there's me. I said, oh, we need a HUMI or what, what's it called? What's it, what's the cable called? <laughs> HDMI. Know, HDI, yeah. You need HDMI. I prefer, I prefer anyway. being on a small phone <laughs> than big. I said, oh, I need HDI cable. And they went, where have you been? It's the dark ages in HDI cable. What is it called again? HDMI. HDMI cable. Yeah. Oh, so there's something else. Just watch your head yeah. going under your oh, camera. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, has it arrived? Oh, oh brilliant. It's arrived. Thank Karen. you. Thank you. Guess what Karen's bought? Yeah. Oh, I can't know what's in there. Beautiful pink board. Oh, it's not green. <laughs> oh, thanks, John. Oh. I forgot to bring it home from work, and John's had to go back to work to get oh, it. It's a stop. In fairness, Karen did say, No, you don't. Yeah, I could have worked. But she said, No, you don't. But yes, please, really. Yeah. How <laughs> could you tell? <laughs> there was no way he was not going to get it. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so I've just put a little white dot in her eye. If you look in anybody's eyes, there's always a little white dot. A little, it's just a reflection of light. Yeah. A little twinkle. Oh, now she's got a tooth as well. One tooth, our little witch. So I did think about painting it black or grey, but then I thought, well, it won't look like a tooth, will it? <laughs> so, so I do do I do paint her tooth white. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot to highlight a little spot. Oh wart or whatever you want on a chin so just watch your head going under oh yes camera. sorry i'm going to push that forward a little bit so i don't maybe do so it as much christmas, christmas malls are coming out as soon as you can get them all photographed don't worry i well we'll be letting her off the drive until <laughs> i have a date <laughs> get saving girls <laughs> right i've mixed just thinly some alcohol into the black and because her hair just looks the same color as her hat just need to put some little streaks. Uh, Sarah Saunders says the witch would be great for for an room on the broom cake for children. A what? Obviously, we've not watched it yet. None of us. <laughs> no. <Simon's looking. laughs> Is that a children's book or program? Must be a new children's program. Yeah. I've not heard of that. My one. grandchildren mustn't watch it. I was going to say, but I go and see Jazzy on Friday. Catch up with all <laughs> yeah. the latest. Yeah. It's our yeah. Harrison's uh, third birthday today. I can't believe it. Aww. They're all growing up. Yeah. Alice's little girl was one last week. Yeah, and that's flown by, yeah, hasn't no. it? Yeah, yeah. So there we go. Just made her hair stand out a little bit more. So, so Simon, Sharon Carson Carter says, is anyone else watching on YouTube? It's gone out of focus. Mm. Yeah, it's not gone out of focus here. I think. I so if it's not gone out of focus here, it, it must should be, be gone out of focus You've just got a low... Bit like going on and you just Ooh. need to just do yeah, maybe, I was going to say, it may ball. well be that everybody else is using your internet. Tell them to get off. That happens in our house sometimes. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to paint the band on a hat now. Let's see what. Uh, oh, yes, you can see. I was worried about the dark grey not showing the colour, but it does. It's got burgundy. On there. Okay. So when I show you the cookies later, I mean it's exactly the same decorating the cookies as it is doing the sugar paste like this. Okay. So um, the sugar paste can be used in any mold. It works in any mold. Jack, Jack, don't get confused, it's not just for Karen's moulds, it actually works really well in any mould. The brushes that Karen's using, she's got a good selection of our own brushes in there, um, to be fair, but just nice um, craft brushes, to be fair. Uh, we've got loads on our website if you want to have a look, we've got loads of packs, with plenty in stock of craft brushes, but um, as long as that they're synthetic and not um, yeah. real hair, they're fine. Yeah, 
It's a waste of money getting the real hair because they yeah. don't last. So I'm just brushing powder colour onto the edge of a hat. Uh, oh, there's a better brush for that bit. This one's perfect for like the creases here, and the small areas, but this one is a nice flat brush to catch the sides there. Need more powder actually. I'm terrified of black. <laughs> So all Karen's Christmas malls that she has in stock normal, I've not put on the website because what I do is I put them on at the end of September um, because otherwise it looks weird having Christmas malls mm. through all through the year, doesn't it? So yeah. All, yeah. if you're looking for Christmas malls on our website, they won't be on yet. As so I, I place an order sort of like, well actually I did say to you, I'll be placing it after mm. this one. Yeah. So I start placing the order for the Christmas molds at the end of September and then they'll be on the website for the first week in October. Karen's Christmas molds, as soon as they come out, I will let you know. So if anyone's looking for molds, just pop over to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. The, um, the Halloween mold is actually on the website already. And... Um, Maria Wilson's agreeing with me. She says she does the same and she hates mm -hmm. giving your face away. There's just something about you want to treasure it. So somebody's just asked again what paste you're using. We're using Karen's own brand of paste. It's a firm sugar paste, so it's great for the moulds. It is great for covering cakes, but it is quite firm, so you do need strong arms. But um, if you want to mix it 50-50, then that's great as well. Yeah. Lots of... Um... I think everybody has their favourite covering sugar yeah. paste, don't they? You know, someone will recommend one thing and people will not like that. They'll like something else or whatever. But we do have customers who use it for covering cakes. But I just find it too firm for me. Mm -hmm. It hurts my arms. <laughs> As I get older, oh, everything hurts. There we go. So I've just brushed her boots, shaved so them. Karen is using a range of fractal dust and rainbow dust. So uh, that's what she's got there. So um, they're all on our website as well, all the colours. So this one here is the citrus green from Fractal. Oh, I'm going to change So it. I'm going to swap for the darker because right. I'm going to do this is burgundy. That, that one is called fractal moss green. Yeah, I was going to say I thought it was a moss green. And this is rainbow dust plum truffle, yeah. which I like. Yeah. Okay. Um, brushes. And they're saying, welcome to the Pink Board Club, Karen. Oh, I know. I'm very excited. Yeah. It's sad, isn't it? <laughs> what yeah. we get excited it's about. Bad, isn't it? <laughs> the amount of people who, who want it, they are oh. exclusive to us at Sugar and Crumbs as well. Yeah. But they are so nice. But just, uh, I was just showing Karen something. Anybody who's got the pink boards, if you rub your fingers across, it's got like um, a coating on it, okay? So if you scrape your fingers across it, it would look like scratches. But it, that's how it is, that's the coating. It's not ruined the board in any shape or form. Do not, whatever you do, go and try and rub it off, okay? That is the coating. So um, you just leave it like that. And you leave the board, you just wipe it with a soft cloth, no, a soft that. damp cloth all the time. It's double-sided, so it's got no feet because it comes with a large gripper, so you can use either side just in case some fool comes along and chops on it with a knife. Yeah. So, <laughs> as happens. You, yeah, that's mm -hmm. it, usually the husband. Um, <laughs> but and, and if you want it, it's also a self-healing board as well, which means if you do get scratches and nicks on it, all you need to do is rub some Trex in it, and it, oh, it won't wow. make it all go away, but it will make it very better, and it mm. won't show on your cakes at all. Wow. In fact, the, the good thing with this board is it won't show anything on your cake whatsoever. Even the black powder I've just got well, <laughs> tiny powder. little bit there, I'm thinking, oh <laughs> no. Yeah. And then um, some people massage their board <laughs> every week with Trex. You don't need to do that. Seriously, we use this board all the time. Once a month, once every six weeks is more than enough. Unless you are using it day in, day out. But uh, we use it We use it in the lives here four times a week. <laughs> right, I'm just finishing off her boots now with the buckle. Paint that in to match her hat. Oh, Room on the Broom is a Julia Davidson book. Thanks, Samantha. Ah. Still didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. She used a lot in school. Ah. It's a well-known children's book. Yeah. Oh. What age group is it sort of for? I don't know. What age group is it for, guys? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you can use any brand lint, any brand of dust that you want. So if you've got Colour Splash, Rainbow Dust, Fractal, um, I think those are the only ones that we mm -hmm. sell, I can't remember. But you know, you can use any brands anyhow. I've just brushed that the powder over dry and then I'm just... Oh, so Dory says, that. Room on a Broom started mm -hmm. out as a storybook, but it's but she thinks it's been made into an animation now. Oh. So she, the Karen, the lady's called she, she, I don't know, she or Shay, um, Karen is using a combination of fractal and rainbow dust. Right, I need to wipe my hands. It's the only trouble with all these dark colours, isn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, it's coming off, it's coming off. <laughs> Very easy, actually. Yeah, yeah. Nice, well. yeah. Okay. Right. Terrible. Before I know it, I've got everything out. <laughs> The Halloween, the Halloween mold is not out of stock. Just let me go and check because Laura was updating the stock. So I'm going to leave Carrot Simon on comments. Have you noticed how quiet Simon is? He hasn't seen <laughs> He's frightened too yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Giving it a slip up. Again. <laughs> right, let oh. me go and check. So um, I'll, go, I'll go and put it in no. stock. I've got to be honest, I think, I think um, Laura wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. but let me go and check. Oh. But it isn't out of stock. Go and have a look because I, I updated it before. Right, I'm just putting these onto the board, roughly where, oh do you know I've made a big mistake haven't I, <laughs> just realised, got carried away doing these, you need to do two right legs, what? two right feet look, Oh. see, yes. <laughs> spot the mistake, <laughs> so she's <laughs> going to look a bit odd really on her broom like that, um, so I think I will put that in half. There we go. So there, she's got one leg anyway. And then if I've got time later, I'll do the other leg. <laughs> I can't believe I did that, I forgot that bit. Yeah, so you need two right legs. Okay. Now I'm going to make a rough body shape so I know where to cover with the cloak. So that can be any colour. I'll use these bits actually, the leftover bits here. And I'm just going to make a sort of a, an S shape. Let's just do it roughly, first of all. <coughs> no, Geraldine, I won't be throwing a few swear words. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Carol's gone. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Right, so I'll just make that sort of smooth. I want to taper it in towards her neck. So if you think about it, if she's sort of riding that broom, let's get that in the right position. She would be sort of this shape. Yeah, like a, a long S. Okay, oh, I need a bit high up so her hands can go on it as well. Okay. So I made, I did a mistake. Oh, go on. I I'd got carried away, didn't I, making the feet, yeah. the boots and the feet, and then I went to put them on here and I thought, oh, no, you're supposed to do two right feet. Ah, right. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Never mind. It's been a long day. Right, I don't know which mould you're after that's out of stock. Let me know and I can sort that out. So Karen's very good. If I get an order into her tonight, she'll have it with me for Wednesday. Yeah, we'll get it out tomorrow. Right, hands, witch's hands. Oh my goodness, you've got them on it now. Can we have a <gasps> little inkling, Norma? Can we what? have a little inkling what the new Christmas ah! mold will be? Oh. Hey, what's the clues, well, Karen? A trick? Well, no, no, no. <laughs> it's pre I mean, Christmas, there's only certain things, isn't there? There's only so You're many things you can do at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Where were you reading that? <laughs> oh, that's the I've got loads of comments oh. on them. Right, so I want two hands. So if I just make ball and point it that looks in proportion that's okay so I want to get another one the same size well, that's slightly bigger but I might just take a bit off and put it on that one yeah that will do so hands people dread doing hands don't they yeah so if you just roll a ball point it flatten it okay 
Oh, these will do. I forgot to bring tiny scissors, but I'll get away with these, I think. I'm going to cut a tiny scissors. Well. It's fine. It's fine. Imagine. Yeah, it's all right. I've cut out a triangle, okay, and then round off the fingers. The thumb's a bit big, but it doesn't matter. She's a witch. <laughs> Okay, so there you've got like a mitten shape. What I do now is I leave that and then do the other hand the same, you know, at the same time. It's easier to do them step by step so they look the same. So point, flatten, just slightly, it's not completely flat. And then you cut the, the thumb here on the other side, cut the triangle out. Then round off the fingers, round off the thumb. So there's your other little mitten. Okay, then take a Dresden tool and mark in half, then in half and in half, then turn it round and push down at the top like that, you see? Push the yeah, thumb out the way down, and just squeeze them together a little bit. Really good. So you get your little hand. Okay. Now you can use, I sometimes use like a piping nozzle just to mark the fingernails, but I haven't got one with me. So I'll just mark a little line and then you can paint them like I have on the cake, red, <laughs> if you want to, or black, whatever, green, whatever color you want your fingernails to be. Now this hand, I have to think now, I have to put myself in the position the witch say, is in and think, yeah, that's that what, way, that would be that's that way. Ty saying, well, don't that's forget way. to do a left and a right hand. Yeah, <laughs> that's it, that's it. Sometimes when I do figures and modelling, you have to think, you have to put yourself in yeah. the position the figure's in to think which way around the hands go and I'm glad it's not just me then. So in half, in half, in half, and then down, 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 move the thumb, push them together. And close the thumb over. I love the way you've shown them how to make hands. It's a dead easy way. I mean, they're not perfect, but they you know, it. it's just for a, a children's cake, isn't it? So I've got some edible glue. It's better than the hands I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a little bit on the hand there. Put it under the broomstick. And then some in there. And fold it over. Oh, didn't mark her nails. Okay, and then this hand is going to go across that way. But now I've got to just put an arm over. I'm going to do the do a cloak first, actually, and then uh, put her arm over. So move that one down. She's going to have a grey cloak this time. Yeah, don't forget to like and share everybody and as I say that I have been with the combiners ever. You get in trouble. I know. Oh <laughs> I'll do them tomorrow at work. I'll tell you what, I'll do the like and share prices at work tomorrow. I'll get one of the girls to film me live and I'll do the like and share prices tomorrow. I'll shout them out. Carol, have I'll you, give you a sorry, have you got a small house. rolling pin? I have forgotten to bring my uh, rolling pin. Can I send you on the trot down there, Simon, please? Sorry. To where? <laughs> Coloured drawers down there. So not the small ones. Next ones. Green. I'd start with the green ones. I'll drink of water while I'm waiting. Go keep going. Thirsty. No, lower down. What? Lower down. Yeah, there it is. What? Yeah. Right, what do you like? <laughs> do you want me one, one for each hand? Thank you, Sam. <laughs> right, so roll out this paste. And look at this, I love this board. <laughs> it's a great board. <laughs> no icing yeah. sugar, yeah. no cornflour, no, no tricks. That's it. It's like a magic trick, yeah. isn't it? And don't be bra don't be shy on a big piece. I, I, I must do it for them, really. Roll mm. it out again. I do it every now and again. Yeah. Roll it out and it just lifts off. I always say to people when they're dead, wow. they're dabbing it all with um, yeah. a cornflour patch. Go, why? Yeah. Oh. I mean, this this is now this is far too big for what I want for the witch's gown. But you so just I'm going to, to roll it, don't you? I'm going to cut some away and see how thin I can actually get mm -hmm. it. So go on, ladies. Who's rolled out on their pink boards without any cornflour? Go on. Who's done it? Nice and big. I mean, that is. Let me see. Yeah, this, it's plenty. It's far too big. So let's go. Go on, roll it a bit more. <laughs> 
just think yours is brand spanking new when oh, you take yours over to yes. the box. <gasps> Look at that. So but it does say out of stock on our website. What you do need to do is phone Laura if you want yours. Phone her, place an order with her. And if you're not ready to pay for it yet, you can pay a £25 voucher to reserve one. We do have plenty, don't worry. So that is unbelievable. I mean, that's how thin the paste is. Yeah. And still no icing sugar. Yeah. Or anything. Wow. Right, so just tidy it up a little bit. Everybody who comes here uses this board. Mm. I think I even managed to convert Hannah the Cake Illusionist the other day because she said, what are they all going on about? <laughs> and then she did something on it and they tried, oh, right, okay. <laughs> Just hoping I haven't cut it too small now. <laughs> now I want to see her legs, you see. So if I mark, if I fold that there, I'll know where to cut it now to trim across so it's the right length. Okay. And I'm going to fold that edge under. If I just put a cut edge on, it doesn't look quite right. So if I fold that edge under and this edge under. I'm not going to fold a hem the hem under, I'm just going to leave it, okay and then just gather across the top, and pleat it, and when you pleat like that just press and that helps hold, hold them together, to trim that straight, and pop it on, right some glue, to fold these, make these pleats a little bit better. Put some at the front Just there. have to get your head out of from under the oh, camera. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, really nice look at your hair. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, now her arm is going to be here, so I'm just going to press that in a little bit there. Okay, so it will fit nicely. That looks good, doesn't it? Like, so, I mean, it's, it's so rubbish when you look at that cloak now. It looks nothing, does it? But once you put, start putting it all together... Have you forgot the dress? Forgot what? The dress. The dress. Or are you just doing a cloak? No, sorry, on? this is the dress. Oh, and then, sorry, the cloak dress. comes oh, so off. Gonna, yes, different colour. Ah, right. Yes. Okay, then. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right, one, so the one-legged one witch. <laughs> <laughs> the one-legged witch. Oh, dear. Oh, her hands come off the top of the broom there, so let's um, stick that on now, I think. Yeah, so do like and share, everybody, and tomorrow I'll do a little skip around the warehouse and uh, show you what's going on, and I'll get all the um, prizes all sorted out. And going back to the pink boards, if you want pink boards, it shows on the website they're out of stock, but all you need to do is phone Laura, and uh, you can pay a £25 deposit, pay the balance nearer the time when you're ready, uh, you just ring the back and pay the, de pay the de balance. So that's going to have the sleeve over that arm, okay? Yeah, you phone, so Maureen, yes, you just phone Laura and you, phone, you pay £25. And then just give her an estimated time of when you want to pay the balance. You can pay, you can pay 10 or a week or something. I don't, it's entirely up to you lot what you want to do. <laughs> Geraldine Allen, me thinks we need a new FB group called the Pink Board Appreciation <laughs> Society. <laughs> Oh. I do want you all to understand about the board. If you've got scratches on it, it's normal. It's just where, you know, when we send it to you, it has bubble wrap wrapping on it. And that sort of like, when it's travelling to you, it rubs it. But don't panic. Just wipe over it with a damp cloth. Don't rub it off. And then afterwards, just scrape your fingers all over it. You'll see it. But that is the actual um, thing on it. Sorry, Karen. It's all right. Don't worry. Okay. Right, this is going to be like a sleeve around her arm. So I'm trying to remember how I did it. <laughs> it's far too big, this. I want her sleeve to have like a nice drop. So. I'm going to actually just fold it round like that, okay? And cut it to fit. So, go 
round like that and round. And if I take that up, probably better putting a little bit of glue around the edge of it. And then that folds over, that folds over. So you see you're starting to get that shape now. And then the top can be trimmed off. And here I'm going to put some creases where our arm bends. See if that fits. Yep, that fits quite well. So the glue. Pop that on. Okay. And then our cloak. a little bit and we need to stick that down anyway so roll that to cloak now I'm so hot <laughs> <laughs> so sticky tonight isn't it who'd have thought it I know you should look that. Oh. We've been working in our warehouse and it was absolutely boiling. Mm, it was hot today. And then I legged it upstairs to the office. So mm. I, I, I went mad. I said, what? Oh my God, it's boiling in mm. here. <laughs> Have you got an upstairs? Yeah. Oh yeah, the heat. So much nicer. The heat the rises. Place. It'd be great in the winter yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much nicer. Lovely yeah. warm. Aww. So this is for her cloak. Okay, so we'll get straight edge the bottom um, I'm just going to trim it and then see how much to cut off across the top so if it's flying out at the back yeah, it's probably about there is this the cloak this, this is a cloak okay and then like before oh do you know what I didn't do on it I didn't you do, do the colour no and I've forgotten to do a sleeve under do you know what? I'm so dozy. I was going to say, you're a bit boring here, Karen. She's all grey. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she can have some decoration. She can have some decoration. I've forgotten their little sleeve underneath there. Uh, there we go. Push that up so you can't really see that that's missing. And then all you do for her sleeve there is cut. I folded that in half. And then you just cut her drop of her sleeve. Let's do it the right way around. Get this. Sorted. I'm really. The heat's affecting my brain today. <laughs> I think oh, it's terrible. All like it's that. all stuck together. I'll do it in a minute. Let's do the cloak first. Right, so again, gather at the top, fold back the edge, and that edge. Yeah, I just thought then, oh, the stitches on the bottom of the cloak. I didn't do the sleeve, and then I realised I forgot to do the sleeve behind. So. And the pleats again at the top and press some glue and sometimes you know you, you automatically have to press things with your fingers use your dresden tool to push yeah. it in and you get a much better neater result really okay there's a i'll let you off it actually looks all right it looks very great <laughs> When I did the purple, I was thinking, well, they do wear purple and yeah. things, but I thought, I wish I'd done her black, but I just wanted it to stand out more on the, that cake's a little bit darker than this. Yeah. So I thought, oh, this one I'll do wear, do it in the, in the grey. Right, let me roll the sleeve again and get my brain into gear. So this lovely mould, everybody, is on our website. We've got plenty in stock, don't worry. Christmas moulds, we'll be releasing those. Um, Karen's going to be releasing her new seven moulds very soon. <laughs> as soon as she does, don't worry. I'll be on a case finding out what she's got for you. And um, and the rest of Karen's moulds, the Christmas moulds, are not all on the website. They are on the website. I just have them hidden until the beginning of October. But stock will be coming in soon. I just need to sort this warehouse out, get places for things. You don't want to see Christmas things too early anyway, no. do you? It seems a bit weird seeing it all in. And people do bring it all out in September, mm, don't they? But yeah. I think the 1st of October is good. Yeah. Right, and we're going to take a little bit more off that, actually. 
the love and the witch. Good. And, the, and uh, <laughs> Bianca says, which is a dark and gloomy for their perfect colours. <laughs> Lift it all up. Sorry. 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 I'll bring her down a bit closer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Looks like she's got a wonky broom now. Can't believe I missed that. And do you know what? None of us would have noticed, Karen. <laughs> if you haven't said anything, none of us would have noticed. Oh, Who would have noticed dear. she was missing a think... sleeve underneath? Go on. No, do you know, last night I did not sleep a wink last night. It was so warm, wasn't yeah. it? You know, it's warm at night, you can't yeah. sleep. So I was so tired today and then everything's gone wrong today. <laughs> it's like, oh dear. Oh crikey, somebody's organised. Lisa, mm -hmm. Rachel, Meelin, all her Christmas shopping was finished months ago. Oh. So all her money is free oh, to be I'm spent. So jealous. Oh my These goodness. people are organised. I'm so I'm jealous. I'm so jealous. I'm not. Never. I'm Never. shocking me. I just do a bank transfer to everyone on Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> I say to them, right, yeah, this is what each child's getting. Buy it, wrap it up and give it me. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas Day. <laughs> oh, well, you are pretty busy. You've got an excuse. <laughs> it's not that. It's just that children have so much, don't they? Oh, you, you don't think, know what to get them. Yeah, no. exactly. No. But I know you work till about midnight. Mm, I do. And they, you know, when you look at the times, her emails arrive. I know, I'm sending my thinking, water to you, answer. Oh, did I see? I was in bed yeah, the other yeah. night <laughs> and I heard my phone go and I thought, oh, what's that? It sounds like a work email. <laughs> and I think it's someone abroad, someone overseas. <laughs> oh, no, it's Carol. She's no, still it's working. <laughs> Was that Sunday? That was Sunday night. Yeah, yeah, last yeah. night. Yeah, Sunday. Oh, was that last night? Is that all it was? I was taking the day off yesterday, oh. and then I came in. I got home at half past mm. six, and John said, "How long are you going to sit on the computer for?" And I went oh. half an hour, and I yeah. got off. I think it's about half eleven. Oh. Right, I've just cut strips and marked them with this stitch wheel, just to make them a bit more sort of interesting. And she's going to have like a little tie, tie neck the top there so I might just cut that in oh they're so soft it's so hot let's do that one in half put some glue up here so where there's a bit of a gap and things showing there you can just put your little ties on a little necktie and that one like I said before push it in with your Dresden tool I'm just work, talking about how we all uh, buy the presents for the grandchildren. Mm -hmm. But I do do that with every one of them, all my family do. I just say, get the kids what it is that you want to get them. Tell me how much I owe you. Mm -hmm. I give them a budget and then I just send it all in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lisa Miles Darcy, she said, I saw you online. I was going to say, get to bed, woman. <laughs> Probably and like I was at, and I was up. At, I couldn't sleep very well last night oh. because I had to be in work for half past six this morning, oh. and then I got home just before you arrived. <gasps> yeah. Oh. So I'm, I'm in work you at do. half past you six. So I'm, in work, I'm in work at half past six every day this week. There you go. So she's sort of finished there. Yeah, she, she looks put... fantastic. How it's fantastic! Like One-legged witch. One-legged witch. <laughs> How fantastic! Are you going to put her on the other leg, or is that? Yeah, it? shall I do her leg? I, I think you may as well finish her off. Yeah, yeah but look at all the detail on that. Isn't that lovely? Let's do Who it knows this sleeve was missing? <laughs> right, so it's that leg. Now I have to think about this because I want one the same as that, same one. So it's that one, right? Oh yeah, because it's the reverse, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> yeah, there. I was thinking, might do that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Okay, so like before, I'm just putting a different colour in there. Oh, I've got a bit of grey, didn't I, before? Oh, just mix a bit of grey quick. Yeah, they all like her in grey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More witchy, isn't she? Mm. 
Mm. <laughs> I mean, that would look nice. You could paint like dots or stars, mm. paint silver stars on. I just added the stars on the, a little star on the mold there, so you can mold stars. Or if you've got the star sprinkles, you can mm. put or any so sprinkles on a dress, something like that. Won't be a second. Oh dear. But they all love her though. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm really pleased you brought out a Halloween mould, and I think it's just enough, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, last time I was here, that's what you were saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got Halloween, do a Halloween. I know, I, I was like, oh, I'm doing one, yeah. yes. What's next? I was chasing you for ages and I threw yeah. a unicorn mould. <laughs> Chasing her for a drip yeah. mold, that hasn't happened oh. yet. How long have I been chasing you for a drip mold? Oh no. I do have some good ideas. I do chase people, you know. <laughs> I'm miling to death in the middle of the night. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a list of stuff, you know, we think I've got to do this, got to do that. Yeah. Sometimes you just bring out whatever. Right, grey's slightly darker on that leg, but this is the leg in the background. <laughs> and a bit of green. Hi Madeline, yes, we've got the mould on sale. It's the Halloween mould. So if you go to our, pay, our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk go to brands and you'll see it there the halloween mold it's actually i think it actually has the witch picture as the first picture i'm sure <laughs> you're right maureen i do burn the candle at both ends but thankfully i don't drink while i'm doing it which is a good thing <laughs> allergic to alcohol yet <laughs> so i just leave john drinking the wine in oh. the lounge and i just keep working That's just I think he was cross with me last night though because I said I'd take the day off. Up so late. There's some glue. That doesn't quite match the other leg, but. But you wouldn't notice. No. I don't know why you told him nobody would have noticed. <laughs> this is it why it does match. <laughs> it does match. Yeah. This is why I say to customers, don't yeah. tell yeah. your you customers. See, yeah. That would have looked daft, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, it would, yeah. Well, Actually, it wouldn't look too bad. Now I'm thinking about it, probably could have left it, no, but I that's the way it looks, it looks it better. She's yeah. flying forwards, isn't she? Yeah. Um, I should have tilted her head slightly more, I think. Have you used yellow tonight? Yellow? No. No, I'm great yellow. No. No. Just gold. Just gold it was. So there you go. You could have put her in my hand. Oh, I that one just up a bit, isn't it? Around the brooms. Okay, you being a perfectionist. Yeah. Well, people will complain, won't they? Nick Ty says, give her three legs. That'd be scary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is a perfectionist, is our Simon. Oh. Right? And you know what I like about him? Yeah. He does sit there and watch. Yeah. He is yeah, watching. He's taking it all in. in. Hey? He's taking it all in. Simon, after seven years, I could possibly say I love you. That's how long we've been together. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right. right. We'll move yeah, with his green right. beard, pink beard, and long hair, and some strange moustaches. Well, I've never long hair while I've been here. Eh? No, I meant actually your long beard, actually. No, you've never had long hair. Right, I'll show you the witch cookies now. Yeah. Good, good. So what do we think of that? Isn't that absolutely amazing? Fabulous. Are you going to do your little, um, are you going to do any of those side yes. ones? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah I'll get round to them. I'll just show everyone the cookies now yeah. that I've got here that I've painted. Oh, those cookies are great, aren't they? I think they look quite nice all together, you know, yeah. you see them all together or whatever. You, um, Which way do you want to turn, turn round? I can show them on the overhead. Yeah. Overhead, okay, let me move some of the mess. Do you know, well. every, every guest we have come in, they're so used to cameras being the other that way. way. yeah. Why yeah. would you have the camera yeah. that way? We had to for because we were doing it on iPhones. So we had to. Oh, bring them down a bit now. And I also think it's because we were probably filming that way right. instead of doing it that way. Okay. Right, so there's the witches as cookies. Um, you can do them on sticks or whatever. I'm gonna, I'll mould some cookies in a second and show you. But they look nice, I think, with all different colours. So they look fantastic. There's one with the green face yeah. there. She's just got green powder brushed on. Um, 
this one is actually her eyes sort of meet in the middle yeah. <laughs> instead of you know looking one way or the other look, looking in so yeah, you can do all different things yeah, with them they look great the lollipop her. stick in so they're great for kids and they're, they're nice for them to paint as well aren't they you know just to mix the colors you mix the powder colors with water you don't have to use the alcohol and do water so i'll show you the cookie now how to mold a cookie and explain about the cookies uh, let's just wipe the distracting gold away. Oh, it won't. Oh, it's off. Otherwise, what I thought is you could yeah. take that board home and I'll keep your new one. <laughs> now I've destroyed it, you mean? <laughs> no, it's all right. Listen, everything has been done on that board. Yeah. And we've still never turned it over yet. No, right. No. Very good. Right, yes, yes. Barbara, it's all in one mould. So she hasn't even, Karen hasn't even began to show you this. She's only showed you how to make a wig. Yeah, so that's far. only that's three pieces on it. Yeah. There's another one, two, three, four, five to go. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right, so little ghost. Let's do the ghost, nice and easy. Um, corn flour in, tap it out. With all the cookie moulds, you get a recipe for this cookie dough. This one um, you make with golden syrup, and you just met, you do it all. You either melt everything in the pan and then add your flour or you can melt it in a bowl in the microwave. So it's very, very easy. That's a bit big. And there's another recipe, Carol's got another sugar cookie recipe on her website. I do. As well, you can use yeah. that as well. There's, as long as the cookie dough doesn't rise when it's baked, yeah. it will work. No, anything, ours doesn't rise. Yeah, anything that doesn't sort of spread when it's baked. Oh, crikey, there's an old thing come up there. Mm -hmm. So Alison Skirr says that the one with cross eyes reminds yeah. her of Diddy Man. Oh! And I've heard that for a long time. Yeah, Ken Dodd's Diddy Man. Yeah. I think Barry said that as well. Yeah. On one of them. I don't know if it was the, yeah, he did on one of them. Was it Dickie Mint or? Uh -oh. We went through all their names the other night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Rack lollipop sticks. These are just PME lollipop sticks. Really, I prefer the longer ones, but this is all I had left. So it says not to bake them in the oven, but I do because the temperature is only very low. As long as you don't stick them onto the element yeah. or in the gas yeah. or anything, it's fine. If they're just on a baking tray and it's quite a low temperature anyway. So I just put a small piece of cookie dough on the back like that. And now I'm going to turn it out onto here, which is non-stick anyway. But if, if you're doing it onto your worktop or whatever, I just put a bit of corn flour on the back. Turn it over and just press, and out mm. it comes. Oh. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> there he is, little ghosty. Okay, Scary and then there's that. a little tiny one here as well, which that's that size. Turn, oh, turn it round, do I? Yep. <laughs> that's that size, that one, little one, little baby ghost. That's in sugar paste on that cake. Okay. So, now... Um, when you press this in as well, I know with, with sugar paste you knead it until it's smooth. With this, you can just press it in and the cracks and creases disappear. So it's quite nice mm. to do because you sort of worry what they're going to come out like. But you know that's come out nice and smooth. Um, and keep it in the fridge before you use it so it's nice and cool and firm. Okay, and then they just bake. Now when you bake them, I get queries off people and they'll say, "Oh, I've made your cookies, but they're too soft." The following day, I get someone, I've made your cookies and they're too hard. <laughs> and they both say, what have I done wrong? Yeah. You know, sort of thing. So it does depend how long you bake them for. Like these were in the oven at the same time today as, there's my ghost. Okay, so you see the difference in the colour, the broom handle and the ghost. That's quite dark because it's thin, that's baked mm. and it's crispier, it's harder. Yeah. But that'll be soft to eat, so it depends how long you bake them for if you want them quite dry um, and not as soft you bake them for longer lower if it's too high too quick you just burn them so I think sort of lower and slower and mm. but you see it is baked that's got that's the bottom that's the back of the cookie they are baked but they are quite soft they're, they're nice they're a really nice texture and flavor so so coloring like I said before with the witch that would just go on a baking tray now um, like I said before with the witch you just paint them in exactly the same way as you do the uh, the sugar paste so if I just get a bit of pink on my brush 
And the ghost can have pink cheeks. Nice pink cheeks. And then some white pearl luster. All over. If you're doing a lot of these, you know, if you're doing them for children, for a party or trick or treaters coming to the door, you can just spray them, you know, put them all out and spray them over, do it quicker. They act up. Nice. Lovely, yeah. Just with that nice luster on there, yeah. it looks lovely, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then his eyes. Um, there's, oh, there it is, the lid for the white. Uh, to be fair, that's black. just central enough, isn't it? Yeah. Two black eyes. Two black put eyes. The red mouth on him, or just black eyes. Um, it depends really. You know how much you want. I've done on those. I've done a black mouth, so I can on this as well. Just need a bit more black powder. I meant to say the mm -hmm. Halloween colours behind you. Do you want to show those Roxy and Rich? Because oh, yeah. few people have asked their ideal for Halloween. There's six colours in there. Mm. So uh, we've got some mm -hmm. nice colours on there for Roxy and Rich. I'm just going to find it because the lady's just asked me for the link. So I'll find the link. Yeah, that's nice, isn't They're it? They're great, aren't they? Mm -hmm. nice little set, isn't They're it? good, yeah, because yeah. it's got the nice sort of Halloween colours you need. Yeah. Like the purple and orange and red and everything. Very good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, I'll just paint in the mouth. Got a very, very thin brush. There we go. And then a little dot of white into each eye again. Got so much stuff out, I can't even see. <laughs> it's right under my nose. <laughs> see what I'm looking for. There we go, and two little dots on his eyes so i love those they're so quick oh yeah they no can you imagine if you if you're selling them for yeah. charities or whatever they're great for uh, absolutely all sorts of different things okay so i'll put them put him with his friends over there and then we'll go on to some of the other things uh, the pumpkins now oh i didn't color any uh, orange did i now i'm sure somewhere i had some already done oh yeah <clears throat> So moulding the, I'll mould the pumpkin just in white, just to show you about the eyes and everything. But then I'll pretend the orange came out of the mould. <laughs> so the white luster, just pass us what luster you use there. Uh, that's the plain one, but yeah. the luster is the rainbow dust pearl white. Yeah. So I don't think we have the pearl white rainbow dust luster white, but we do have the Faye Cahill luster white. Yeah, that would be great. Very, yeah, which is very similar, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so cornflour into the mould and tap out. And then knead the paste to get it smooth. This looks a little bit too much, but I'll show you how you take, take it off. You get the paste nice and smooth before it goes in and then flatten it out a little bit because it's a nice round sort of flat shape do that with your paste before you put it in to make it easier oh i'm so hot and sticky you can pick up corn flour or powder off the board or just pat a little bit onto the back so i'll push the excess paste over to one side and take off now you can leave the eyes filled in if you want to and paint into them or mm. you can make them make the holes by just rubbing over even the mouth mm -hmm. just rub over it that will make you you will get excess paste then but you can just take it off That's at a the idea, edge isn't it? okay just rub it away clean the edges up and That's take a good idea how cool is that it's nice and easy isn't it rather mm. than to cut it out you are clever, aren't you? Well, not really, but... <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay, now, the other thing you do now, now, you can either have it, so when it comes out, you've got, it's just empty, like, you know, just hollow, or you might want the eyes to be black. Painting them in, you can paint them in, but you worry about the, br the brush catching on the side of the eyes. You can just put a circle of black underneath behind it, so you get the black eyes. 
So that's ready to come out. Just turn it over on the bend and out it comes. Okay, there's your pumpkin. So we'll quickly swap to that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's just come out and I'll show you the colouring of the pumpkin. Um, oh, that's nice. Geraldine Allen mm -hmm. says, I love watching mm -hmm. Karen. She's so calm. Woof. <laughs> no, you, no, you wouldn't have said that to me today. I was a very stressed today. <laughs> was you? Oh, yes. Oh. You did say it was one of those days when yeah. you came in. And what did you I know, say? You, you think, oh, I'm going to do this, going to do that. <laughs> well, this morning we were busy. There was orders and things. So I, was, I sort of helped Debbie. I said, oh, I'll help you this morning. Then I'll get ready. After tea break, I'll get ready, get my stuff ready for Carol's. But then that doesn't happen, does it? No. <laughs> something happens then. Yeah. Oh, something wasn't working on the PayPal, and oh. I feel as though I've been dragged everywhere today. Yeah. I'm just really glad that the weather was good, because we had to actually had to mm. empty all our warehouse into the yard area that we've got. Yeah. Oh, you couldn't have done that if it was raining. No. No. So I'm using a flat brush, small flat brush, and going into those lines. You see. So it's nice and soft. And then on the edge as well. On the edge. So I'm sort of rubbing it from side to side to catch the edge and then just brush it in a little bit. So flat brushes are really good for dusting. I love flat brushes. Yeah, we have a nice set of 10 that have a bit of a range mm -hmm. of everything in it, which is mm. quite handy. Good. Now, I want the darker green now. Now, you can either brush the colour on to the top or onto the leaves, sorry, or paint it on. So, I'll show you the difference. So, that's just brushed on. You see, it's quite soft. I always think it's not very precise either when you brush it on. It's harder to uh, get the colour in, but it's a nice soft effect. Mm. That's fine, you know, yeah. or paint it in. So, I'll do paint it now. Need a bit more colour. I think I like it like that. Do you the soft? Mm. If the colour's quite thin and runny, it's nice on the leaves because it runs into the veins on the leaves. And then down, down there. And then the little top here you need to do in brown. Uh, colours on that brush. That will probably do. I'll paint that, I think. Uh, Jane Temple said, I bet a gold pumpkin would look nice. Oh, that's a good idea. Is yeah. Okay, hello. That's a good idea. Oh. Now, Carol said to me earlier, you heard, did, we, did you say earlier, what are these for? <laughs> I did. I did. <gasps> the rice crispy treats when it's children you know you're doing something simple with children if you've got that just get a little bit of chocolate and put your little pumpkin on top that's uh, so easy isn't it so quick and easy and some others there's a little tiny pumpkin so for children to make I think that's a really good uh, a good little thing isn't it mm. excellent yeah yeah, saves all they the all the bother that. of baking. They love, they love rice krispie treats or cornflakes, yeah. don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So there you go. And I have That's those little biscuits as well. You like the and brooms? No, I like those little oh, biscuits. Oh, Ruby, yeah. Ruby would love those. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the other thing you can do. You know, you can do oh. the rice krispie treats, and then put a biscuit on top. Absolutely. You know, you don't have to do sugar paste. No. If you want to, you can put the cookie on top. When I did these with the stick, I thought, oh, hang on, oh, his mouth is open. But on that one, like, you can see the stick. It looks like a little tooth. <laughs> you probably can't see close <laughs> up, but it sort of, you can't really see it very well there, but there, it sort of looks like a tooth in there. But those, you could paint the eyes black, like I said before, if you wanted to. Okay, so... Right, have I done everything now? Just the, the um, cauldron, just, um, isn't can it? Can you just have a try and doing that galaxy, mm. using that galaxy white? Uh, galaxy white. Yeah. Have you got any plain ones? Just, um, I'll do a ghost. I'll do a ghost yeah. quick. Because we've got a pearl Ooh, white. Oh, I like the that. It's the galaxy <gasps> white. It's really quite sparkling Ooh, white. Yeah. That's the pearl white Yeah. as well. And then I'm just trying to, for the fake hills, because the fake hills are such good colours. Mm. 
Hmm. Right, shall I do another ghost? And like the ghost, you could just do his head, you know, or you could do the yeah. little ghost, or um, you can just do his head on a cupcake. Oh, there's pumpkin on a cupcake as well. I forgot to show you the pumpkin cupcakes. They're nice. <laughs> I used to have every colour of fake yeah. hail, and I haven't now. I don't know what's oh, happened to them. They got muddled up into another box or something. Yeah, they just disappeared. Right, another little ghost. Just so they could see what that colour mm. looks like. Luster colours, and um, brushing them on. While the paste is soft, they all, I think they always look better brushed on while the paste is soft. Once you let the paste dry, they don't seem to stick to the paste as well and get a really good shine. Um, if the paste is dry, like if this ghost had been left overnight or whatever, then I, it's, sometimes it's better to paint the dusts on. You get a much and it's a better lovely, colour. And a lovely signature gold for the pumpkin. Oh, isn't that yeah, gorgeous? Gotta, yeah. <gasps> Just the same oh, there. I need to get some of these. They're so lovely. Nice, it? Yeah, that gold's gorgeous. It's a nice fibre gold. I, I love, do love that. the fake kale colour, mm. so I think they are fine. That's really nice. We do have loads of other golds, ladies, but I don't seem to have them anymore. Mm. <laughs> In my stash, I don't know where they've gone. I'll rub my luster brush. Now, which one shall I do? I'll try this one. It's very sparkly. It is sparkly, isn't it? I was just going to say, if you've got a biscuit, you can rub it over <gasps> as well. Look at that. I know, it's really <gasps> very glittery, isn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that is gorgeous. They may not be able to see it on the right mm. or the right. No. Not very well. I'll no. pick it up. Even if you've got a back of them, um, even if you've got a back of a biscuit there, you can show. Yeah, push that in and you'll be able to see it there. See if it comes out on that. Oh, it's gorgeous. A bit hard to see, it's glittery, isn't mm. it? So this one, there's two fake A Hill whites. There's a glittery one. <laughs> and this is, uh, I'm oh, just about wow. picking it up on the I camera. I get this is the pearl now. This one's yeah. just pearl. So you might see the difference now. Yeah. The two maybe. That is beautiful, that. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I'll try and do some gold. Let's use this one. Yeah, you can see the two differences, can't you? Yeah. You won't see that on there because no. it's... Yeah, I think you have to oh, I do, it. I do see love the gold it. on the ghost. Yeah, I love on, it. You would, the, yeah. On yeah. The paste bomb. yeah, there's the gold. Yeah, they yeah. are lovely. Really nice. I need to expand my... Uh, Colours. Colours. Well, the Fay Hill colours are great, and especially if you uh, wet them as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'll do the cauldron. Show you the cauldron. Um, get some grey. So on this mould, there's loads of um, features on it. So how many, how many different designs? It's on One, two, hand. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's, so, eight. that's what's good about your oh moulds as well. You always put loads on, isn't it? It's yeah. just a one mould thing. Yeah. Always something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was looking at something the other day I was using it. I didn't even know it was on there. Mm -hmm. What mould was I <laughs> using the other day? Nine with that little star. Yeah. Oh, there is. Yes, I missed yeah. star. Yeah, nine. I was using something on the Georgie Godballs class and I didn't, I, mm -hmm. I, don't know, I didn't even know that one existed. No. Oh. Okay, right, cornflour in the mould. Tap out. Now at the top, we've got her potion bubbling over. So, oh, I thought I'd brought green with me. I'll just do it. I'll just do it lighter, slightly lighter grey at the top. Isn't that cream sugar paste there? Or is it buttercream? That's buttercream. Ah, right. Yeah. Yeah, I must have forgotten. I did have it in a bag. I must have left it in the mess mm -hmm. <laughs> on my table at work. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> my fingers just come straight in there on the screen. <laughs> You see it. No, you miss it. <laughs> right, turning it this way so it's easy to push it into those. There you go. You could use the pumpkins if you're doing a Cinderella cake. So oh, yes. Would, that would be Thank nice, you, Vanessa. It? Yes, of course. Pardon? They would have a Halloween face. Oh, no, they wouldn't have a Halloween face. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> yeah, you could fill that in, mm. though, wouldn't you? Mm, possibly. Well, mm. Mm. You'd have to put something else in the way. <laughs> you could make them sparkly and make them uh, pretty little pumpkins. <laughs> Happy pumpkins, because they yeah. are smiling. Yeah. Right, just let me see. Yeah. This is, it's funny there, I can never get used to the amount of paste you put into moulds, even though I do it nearly every day. Now that, you see, got two little pieces trailing down here so I'm going to pinch before it goes in it just makes life easier doesn't it yeah if you've got the paste ready there to push in okay so so the white glitter Fay Cahill is called galaxy white and if ever you invest in Fay Cahill just let me say they are a bit more expensive but you do get 20 mils in a, in a tub so you get double the amount in fact you get four times more than you would in a normal tub and they all have um, a 10 year best before date on wow. as well. Well, that's really good. Well, they've given up, um, mm -hmm. I think they've given up the Australians because best before dates are not really worth talking about, but everybody mm -hmm. still throws food away when it's a yeah. best before. Yeah. And I, I always say there's no legal requirement to reduce, no. there's no legal requirement no. to reduce um, prices or give it away because it's a best before date. And I can't wait till 2026 when they're going to abolish it, apparently. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, the Australians have given it up now, so they put yeah. a 10-year best before date on it. <laughs> <laughs> They've done that on, it on quite a lot of their mm. stuff. Oh, wow. Right, so... I'll just get the grey, the darker grey, smooth. Flattened out. Pop that in. I'm going to push that in at the top there where I've already put the lighter grey paste because I don't want to press really hard over there and push the excess paste over that because it will disturb it all and make a bit of a mess really. So we'll take the excess off at the bottom here. Just put some cornflour on because I'm very sticky. There we go. So good, you get it? the different oh, shades. I love that. I love I that. You. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. That was brilliant. Get that out of the way. All right, I'm just going to wipe the table again. I've got lots of glitter everywhere. Okay. So now I want some green. I've got a nice really lime green here. This is citrus green, fractal citrus yeah, green. Yeah, it's a lovely green that, isn't it? So let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that's probably okay. I'll probably just do the green and then go over with luster. Just brush it on. You could paint it if you wanted to. Yeah, so Karen's moulds are, I've just seen a lady comment there, so one of the good things about Karen's moulds are they're very thick, they're excellent um, silicone, they only use the very best silicone. Barry actually, make, Karen's husband, Barry actually makes all the moulds himself and, um, and Karen tries to make as many multi-uses on her moulds as I can. She's not very much, she tries not to be a one mould person, don't you? Well, I don't like to waste any yeah, space. So she tries to fit as many <laughs> yeah. little embellishments on there that you can hmm. to, to make some great decorating. So yeah, yeah. if you are looking at Karen's mould, seriously, just read the comments on here of all the people who've got them and you'll absolutely love them. They're on our website under brands. Take a look. And I'm sure everybody on here will just vouch about how amazing they are. We'd rather, we, we like this size because we can get so much on it. You know, if we did a witch mould or a ghost mould, you'd probably be paying £10 each. for yeah. the. So we'd rather get these big sizes all yeah. on one. That's what people like. Yeah. They say there's such agree, there's, good there's, value there's, there's loads because of you get so much. There's companies out there that just only do mm. the one mould, isn't it? And yeah. you always put so much yeah. into yours. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, yeah. right. Rub black powder in and then just start by brushing the edge of the cauldron. And give Karen a juice. She always comes here and shows you how to use them. There's not many other manufacturers that do that. So Karen does come here on the lives and shows you how to use them all. <laughs> it's nice being able to. It's, uh, it's good. Well, to be fair, you've been doing our lives with us now for about mm. nearly four years, Karen. No, really? Yeah, well, we started it four years ago. I went six months on my own, and I think you, you were one of the first that came in. Gosh. So you've got to be mm. past three years. Well, I was only 35 then. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> I was only 40 then. You're younger than me. There we go. So that just makes it look hopefully more rounded. Okay. Oh, luster on the um, over the green. Just give us a bit of shine. Uh, oh, the feet. I've got to dust the feet. You certainly do, Tracy Scribbins. I've got a lady who mm -hmm. uh, uses our website. She's called Tracy Scribbins. Yeah. And um, I sometimes, you know, sometimes when I order a random mould, yeah. it's because she's uh, asked me why I uh... order it especially for her. <laughs> so, um, so she's got yeah. loads of your oh. moulds. Oh, thank yeah. you. If ever you want me to order moulds especially for you, that I, for, for you that I don't stock, just do that. Send me an email and ask me. Um, Tracy and a couple of other ladies because I don't stock every mould that Karen has and sometimes they're seasonal as well so sometimes I'll just next time I place an order I order it and then Karen, Laura gives you a phone call then letting you know when it comes in have you got a red powder Carol? I have yeah. I forgot to bring Oops. that one Oops. red or oh, yellow maybe no red will do just red do you want fractal colours? Or anything, anything at all I've just done a very wishy-washy orange colour in the background and then just some little streaks of orange. And now I'll put some red on. Oh, I'm going to use some fake R Hill Gold as well. I'll let you ruin that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, rust red. That sounds quite mm -hmm. nice. Let's try rust red. I haven't got rust red, so... See what it's like. If I can get the lid off. <laughs> yeah, if any of you, uh, yeah, uh, that, uh, yeah, if any of you want moles that carrot that I don't stop, just all you've got to do is just email me. And Tracy does it. She messages, she messages me and goes, "Will you get this one? Will you get that one?" My hands are there very. Um, you get this one, get that one, and then I just get them in for her. So feel free to do that. I'm more than happy to help. Nice. And uh, thanks, Maureen. I know lots of you didn't know, but lots of you do ask me things, and I try and help out all the time. This is a very dark red. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's lovely. I thought, I thought that's going to be too dark, but it looks really yeah, it nice. It looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like an orangey mm -hmm. red, which I suppose, which is why it's called it, it's rust red. It's lovely. Yeah, so just do anything really for fire, <laughs> just <laughs> streaks of red. Yeah. Like that. I mean, the cauldrons I've got there, they all look different anyway, so. And then let's have a little bit of this just to finish it off. Some little streaks gold on it. Oh I like that. Yeah, oh that's nice. Too. That's my yeah, best that's my best that. fire. That's my best fire. Yeah. fire I'm getting better <laughs> at it. I'll show you my first fire. I like that one though. Like that. <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> Uh, yeah, then there's my second fire. Oh, that's getting closer. Yeah. <laughs> it depends what colours you use, yeah. doesn't it, really? But Absolutely. I like that. No, I like it. That's nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so the cookie would be the same. There's the cookie, you know. So you see it has grown a little bit when it's baked, but not mm. much. So any any cookie recipe you've got that doesn't spread when, bake, when baked will do. will be fine. Okay. 
Um, I'll need these here for now. How are we for time? Uh, plenty of time, it's half past nine. Right, okay. Um, because what I thought now, is there anything, have I missed anything on that Halloween? I don't think I have, have I? No, I think I've done them all, made them all now. So I was going to just go through some of the other cookies that we do mm -hmm. and show you some other things maybe. Absolutely. Some other Why little not? easy show cookies. Them, yeah. 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 Um, and I've brought things that are good for cookies or cakes. Have a little tidy up. Dusts tend to go everywhere, don't they? Well, they do with me. What are you going to do with that um, bright red and lime green cakes that you've got down there, Karen? Oh, right. They were the, these two. These yeah. were the, these were the um, witch's feet, uh, remember? All right. Ah, yeah, that's right. They were the yeah. witch's feet yeah. and the Christmas ones. Yeah, you did. Oh, I didn't sort out his boots. His boots have gone a bit. Some of the They love the gone. cauldron. Good. They love them all. And that, you see, because I do these, this, the feet, I think, oh, it's got to look more Christmassy. I forgot to put the holly on before. So you put a little bit of holly on there as well. Yeah. So, oops, so you know that it's uh, Christmas. Mm. Okay. They all look great. <laughs> okay. So. So don't we like that mould? Who loves this mould? Isn't it, isn't it exciting to have something so easy to use for Halloween? All your cupcakes are going to look great. Those cupcakes as well. If you'll know the number of that. Wilton 1M. You sell those, don't you? I do. I think I, think I bought these yeah. off you. Yeah. That's what the nozzle is for that one. Okay. So. Um. I'll just show you some of the other cookies that we've got. Okay, the one, last ones I did here actually were dinos lovely dinosaurs and the space. There's a space mold. Two, um, Sorry, the way up. which way? Other way? This way? Oh. <laughs> one day I'll get it right. <laughs> well, to be fair, you spent years having to do it. Yeah, the other way, the other way it's automatic, you know, isn't it? To show every, when you every person who comes in and does the live has done yeah. it previously. But yeah. Till we've had this new setup, we've always done it the other mm. way. Oh, let's clear some space because it is getting a bit messy, to say the least. I'll get rid of these, this paper as well. That helps. Okay, yeah, I'll just show you some of these quick and then I'll make some. I'll show you some of the cupcake tops and things and cookies. Yeah, so there's the unicorn we mentioned earlier. I love that one. Yeah, that's a nice Absolutely That lovely. came out with the swan, mm. the swan cookie mould mm. as well. Okay. Do you know what I like best about your swan one, the black mm. swan? Oh, yeah, that yeah, gorgeous? Kate Christina did. Yeah. That was good. That was a really good idea. That's really nice. Um, then we've got others. This one will have to be from yeah. the from the front. The baby cookie mould. Yeah, fantastic. Okay. Doesn't that look good? This one isn't. This is off the farm animals. That's just a farm. Yeah. One of the little but baby good baby sheep. That, this little box was from like a florist wholesalers, yeah. and then you can just put some um, a cake dummy, you know, some styrofoam yeah. in the bottom, and I've covered it with it's sprinkles on yeah. the top. Use lollipop sticks. But that's a that really a lovely, nice, that's a lovely gift nice idea, little present, think, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, and even for Christmas, you yeah. could do Christmas cookies in some sort of container or a tin. You see, like the Christmas tins and things, yeah. little boxes. You can do um, sort of like a, a cookie bouquet, isn't it? Instead of a cupcake bouquet, Absolutely. sort of thing. Right, you've had this question before, and yeah. I think the answer is no. Would the molds work with ice the malt? They do. They do. I've not done it. I haven't used it. So I don't know how long they would do it for, if you like. You know, they'll certainly do it for... It depends how many you do. I think you just can't pop them out straight away, isn't it? Is it because it's so hot, the ice amount, when it goes in? Yeah. It you would, have to wait for it to you'd cool, You'd have to let it, it cool. Yeah. have had that question yeah. before. They will work. And I think they do work. But yeah. They're beautiful as well. I've seen them done and they yeah. do look really nice. They do. Yeah, but I think you just can't drop them out yeah. straight away. No, no. Now, so that one, there's another one, another nice gift, another type of sort of cookie bouquet. That's with lots of our different flowers, lots of our yeah. different moulds. That's the large rose mould, yeah. the buttercream flowers mould, the succulent mould, the dahlia mould. Uh, that's sugar flowers. You don't want to use that one all the time, that one, but I never thought about using the succulent mould. Mm -hmm. There, that, that, one, that one. Yeah. That one's the brush embroidery flowers just put onto a yeah. plain you just cut out a plain round cookie and then you arrange them same with that one you arrange them how you want oh, and the fantastic. hydrangea 
which a lot of you I think have got by judging by the amount Carol's yeah. ordered off me. Yes, yeah, we used it for the bus spring flowers class. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I ordered a fair few. So, I'll tell you what I've got with me. Oh, no. These as well. These were like best sellers for years, these two. Now, they were cupcake tops. As far as I know, I was the first person ever to bring out a cupcake top mould. Mm. And then everyone else did. I've never seen them, so look at them. Look at that. That's a single rose yeah. and a triple rose. Ah. So they were just cupcake tops, but of course you can do really nice cookies, yeah. like for yeah. afternoon teas. And yeah. then you can, like when I did the Viennese Whirl, that's, that's so old. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> no, it doesn't smell, but it is, it is old. But you can just do a plain cookie underneath and yeah. sandwich them together with buttercream, with lovely flavoured buttercream. Yeah. You know, and do a little sandwich biscuit, which is nice to do. Um, yeah, so these are quite old, so they do look a bit of a funny colour. But um, I'll show you them as a cupcake top, what you can Did do. Did you bring any of those more for me tonight? Yeah, a few. You have? Yeah. Right, good. Yeah. Right, they're not on the website, but they will be tomorrow. Yeah, I think... I, so. did, I did tell Karen to bring whatever she was using yeah. tonight with her. I think I've got five each of these. Right, brilliant. Okay. So, so I'll do I'll them. I'll have them quick. on the website tonight, don't worry. These are just so quick and easy because something like this you've got them for cakes or for your cookies now you can if you want to put a different colour paste into there you, know, mm -hmm. you can put a pale pink and green for the leaves but it's so quick and easy I'll do them both at the same time actually do them together so were these like your first mould out were they? they weren't the first but they were what was your very first mould out? Um, I know the very the first mould small, small teddy bear small thing. teddy bear and no the Christmas the snowman heads Right, and I was just said that was the very first mould I bought off you, the, the snowman The heads. three snowman heads, yeah. and then it was the teddy bear, yeah. teddy duck and rabbit, all those years ago. And there were snowman heads off you, the snowman borders, yeah. I love the snowman borders. Put a bit more in there. Yeah. Yeah, but as far as I know, I was the first. I, I like to say I thought of cupcake top knots. What made you get into <laughs> moulds, Karen? People were asking me for them, they were asking what moulds I've used. Just made I did. Purpose, I did a Christmas book. I think it's like a little instruction book, and people used to ask me what moulds I'd used on yeah. the cakes. So I said, "Oh, I haven't. They're made by hand." And it was the Santa face. They, oh, want, they all wanted right. the Santa so face mould. So yeah. I thought, "Right, we need to make moulds." Then yeah. that's how it sort of started. So just make that smooth before it goes in. Press. So Karen's brought me stock of these. So if you want any of these, after the live, I'll go and pop them on the website for you. Oops. Now, you know, because it's our paste, you can press yeah. as hard as you want. That will come out. Okay. And I like to, I do make sure I've pressed really hard on these so you get the detail from the roses. Yeah. So you just bend the edges back, turn it over and press. There you go. Very pretty. Yeah. And the same with this one. Bend back and mm -hmm. press. Okay. And then you get two cakes. Small, I'll use these. These lovely fresh ones. <laughs> I've had them for ages. Oh, it's going to have. Yeah. No, I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to. Um, where's the glue? Just Edible glue. Yeah, I'll yeah. put glue on just so they sit. I mean, they're a bit. Karen's only got lime green buttercream. It yeah, it might look show right. through. <laughs> I was just thinking it'll show. It'll quite look right. It'll it? show through, mm -hmm. so. go you put the tops on straight away and then you colour them straight away as well okay so we, uh, Dean has has just brought up there can you imagine a weekend retreat at the warehouse we was going to do an open day for the mm. 3rd of October at the warehouse but I think with the new regulations and that it's oh, not going to happen yeah. yeah it's horrible isn't it I just wonder how long it will go on for so I've brushed the powder colour really well into kitchen paper and then I just catch the centres, see? The centres see, of the roses. Really do, isn't it? And it looks Lovely. so delicate. And it looks like you've taken ages yeah, doing that. It does. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like you're very artistic. Yeah. And it looks like you've used a brush that thin and gone on every petal. You don't. You don't. You just do it really quick like that. Okay? Just catch the edges. Okay, now the green. Same again with the green. Where did I hide the green? Right, here we are. Yeah. yeah, we won't use the bright lime green. 
But you see that green, that's really dark. But you just... Tap it on. Yeah, just rub it in like that. And remember I said before, build it up gradually. Don't just put lots on. I think I must have had yellow on this brush before. It's turned the green a bit of a funny colour. And then you take luster. And go all over with your luster. Brush it on. Or if you've got lots of cakes like before, like I said, if you're doing a lot of them, you can um, just spray them with the can of luster. Love them. Absolutely love them. Yeah, they're so pretty. And it's the same with these. You colour them exactly the same. The colours faded a lot on those cookies. And then over the flowers as well. I mean, sometimes I used to do these and just luster the flowers and leaves. And then I used to put edible glitter all yeah. around them as well. That looks really, really nice. Great, so there you it? go. So if I just colour this one, just top this up a little bit so you can see what it looks like. Better colour on. I'll put the moulds on the website. As soon as the lives finish, I'll put the moulds on. I wasn't sure what Karen was bringing to her. I did say to Karen, just bring anything that you're using. So she tells me she's brought these with her. So I'll pop them on the mould. I'll pop them on the website for you afterwards. And um, don't forget to like and share this live, everyone. And I'll do a tour, little tour around the warehouse tomorrow if I can. And I'll, wait, I'll shout out all the pri all the winners as well over the last few lives. Um, let's see what else I have with me. Do you have the dahlia? I do have the yeah, dahlia. Yeah, yeah. This is a nice one as well for um, a cake top. I um, use that one a lot for biscuits. Mm -hmm. um, I've got to pack Karen up after the live, so it take me 20 minutes to get Karen sorted out and I'll jump on the website. So I'll both be on the website by quarter to 11. Then I'm going to bed. <laughs> I've got to be at work for half six again tomorrow. Oh. Okay, so I've just smoothed that paste, flattened it out. I wish I'd brought some pale colours with me now. Everything's in white. <laughs> oh, why don't you mix something? Do you want me to mix something? No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. As long as everybody gets the idea. These look nice. All these sort of little cupcakes look lovely in very that pale colours, you know, all mixed, different. That one there, your Christmas yeah. snowmen was the first ones I bought. Yeah. And the second one I bought was the hydrangea mould. Oh, yeah. Um, so I bought your yeah. Christmas um, snowmen ones yeah. first. Yeah. Then the hydrangea mould and border. Mm -hmm. And then that one. <laughs> I love that one. Yeah, so that's it. Turn it over. And out it comes. Um, there's a very lumpy cake. Go on. But you don't see the lumps and bumps mm. <laughs> when that's on. Okay. Um, I think what I'll do is just catch some powder on it, on the edges of the petals. So this one's called... Um, Dahlia. Dahlia. And... Um, it's funny how we pronounce it, isn't it? I say Dahlia. Dahlia. That sounds posh. <laughs> <laughs> Dahlia. <laughs> this one's a Dahlia. And it's lovely because it's got two moulds on it, hasn't it, really? Yeah, a small smaller well, version of it as well. And I love that, just just um, edging it up there, pink. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Put little pearls on the top as well. It looks really pretty, Oh, that'd it? be nice. Yeah, the little... Well, you could actually actual... wear it, paint them in gold. Where's yeah, I'm going to for Fade Carhill, this yeah. one. This is yeah, like, this like... is going on everything yeah. now, this gold. You don't even have to, um, you have, don't even have to have pearls. I just paint them on, don't you? <laughs> yeah. So, luster. Again. Lots of luster. And then there's the brush. And the gold. I always mix when I'm painting. I always mix in the lids. Yeah. Because then you can just reuse it over and over yeah, again. Yeah, that's what I always say to the ladies. You can just, even if they mm -hmm. do it in the paint palette tray, just yeah. let it dry and then put it back into the brush. Very yeah. pretty. So that's another one. Super. 
I've got a few there now. What's the name of the gold there? Signature gold. Isn't this gold it? is, is oh, oh, is it it's on here. Signature. Signature, yeah. Yeah, signature gold. It's a fake Cahill. We've got all the golds in stock, but I don't seem to have them here anymore. I don't know where all my golds are. I used to have one of every one, but they've gone. I've only been left <laughs> with this one. Which is not great, is it? No. Somebody's been helping themselves. No. I've noticed they disappeared months ago. I'm wondering if I've left them somewhere. I'm just colouring a little bit of pink to go in this. So Simon, have you gone to sleep? Because you're very quiet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just oh. loving Karen's mold oh, so I'm much. I'm mesmerised, yeah. <laughs> you are being quiet. What's wrong with you? <laughs> the ruffled roses now as a cupcake top I'll show you that one just mixing some shades pink to show you another effect which I quite like I said you're swearing in your head <laughs> it did only say it did only say one swear did where it swear did it was quiet it was quiet in <laughs> fairness and it wasn't the full word was it it was sort of oh. Right, cornflour so into... Just, it's just sugar paste. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was, sugar paste, yeah. Cornflour into the mould. I'm using this size. This is this is the second largest one. Yeah. That's quite a nice cupcake size. So I've got a pink piece of paste. Put that into the middle. Press. We're all laughing because they said they were li too busy listening to you. They missed out. Uh, <laughs> and then I am going to put a th little thin amount of glue or water there. Then I've got paler pink paste put behind it but what I do is because that's already there if you sort of make that smooth and flatten it and then make it really thin in the middle okay otherwise you end up with a domed yeah. flower okay so that's really thin in the center there and put that on and don't worry about it going over or in you know not in the right lines or whatever and then on the back of that we're having white He's worried about swearing. Can you say it again? Because she missed it. <laughs> sugar paste. Oh, sugar paste. <laughs> so so I haven't asked the question, question actually. Is any newbies watching tonight? I haven't. I haven't asked that question. We've got any newbies? If you are newbie to the, tonight's live, feel free to join in, and please let us know where you are. We are a really friendly bunch here. You'll see all the ladies chatting away. They chat about everything. They all know each other so well through the lives. We have a, they have a proper little family <laughs> chat on here. Oh. It is quite nice, isn't it, that they all know each other? I think, yeah. that's, quite, I think that's the one good thing about the lives. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. There we go. So it's stoned a little bit, not too much that I'm worried. So you make sure you've pressed really firmly everywhere. Then um, I've run out of cake, so I'll have to get one of the cakes I made this morning. Sorry. I'm just <laughs> One of the cakes I made earlier. We can't see what you're doing. I think it's going to be a bit small then, Karen. <laughs> it's desperation. What are you doing down there? There we go. I'm just getting one of my homemade cakes out. <laughs> well, you were baking for the grandchildren, weren't you? <laughs> well, I did at the weekend. Oh, right. Oh, now, I'll tell you something else I did at the weekend, um, which wasn't as good as the first time I tried it. Online, I've been seeing lots of um, pies, like mm. fruit pies, meat yeah. pies with really fancy pastry toppings yeah. and when I've seen them I've thought oh, I've got to do that with our molds yeah. Yeah. and the first time I did it I did two pies it took me all day <laughs> to do these two pies but I was quite pleased them really quite they went quite well I used the sugar I did an apple apple and pear pie and I used the sugar flowers down the side oh, yeah. and I put the brush embroidery flowers down the middle um, and it was I it was really good. I was really chuffed. Yeah. yeah. Really chuffed with Did myself. I appreciate it. Yeah. 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 But, um, and then I did another one, an oblong shaped one, which, what did I make for that? I can't remember what I made. 
Oh, what was in it? I don't know. But anyway, I put our basket weave in the middle, cut two little holes, you know, for the steam. And then round the outside edge of that, I did all different flowers. Aww. It took, took forever. <laughs> but I made the mistake. I made one batch of my own pastry, and that worked perfectly. So if you're going to do it, if you're going to have a go, do it with homemade pastry. Yeah. Don't get the shop bought. I never get shop bought things, you know, <laughs> to do these things. I just thought, oh, I'll get a pack of ready made pastry and have a quick go. But it didn't work. It was too stretchy, too yeah. like you'd push it into the mold. As you were pushing it into the mold, it was following you up the mold. You know, it was like elastic. It was awful. So it took me ages and it still wasn't right. But those two pies I thought were quite good for my first attempt. So yesterday I tried again. I did, but it was a big a rush yesterday because I was sort of doing dinner for the kids and the grandchildren mm. I thought it might be the last time they can go and get it in the garden because it yeah. was nice and everything so you don't know how long you can do it for so we yeah. did it yesterday had dinner in the garden and I made the this apple pie again well, it was awful <laughs> it just wasn't because I rushed and didn't it wasn't awful it tasted lovely it was yeah. really nice but the pastry I, the decoration wasn't, wasn't as right. good as the first time but I'll send you the pictures of the first ones I did because I was quite pleased with them yeah, so I'm just going to put... This would be apricot jam or buttercream on the top. And then that's another... It does look silly because it's too. it needs to be on a cake that size, yeah, doesn't it? Nice. But that mould as well, there's a leaf on there. You can put two shades. It looks fine from overhead. Yes. Does it? Yeah, you can yeah. put, you can <laughs> put green in the centre. So it just goes into the leaf a little bit. And then white on the back. So that's like two-tone as well. That looks really good. That's another okay. nice one. And they make, they're nice for cookies yeah, as well. Absolutely. They bake really nice because of the, you know, the thin leaves. If any of you are looking for moulds, uh, we have them all on our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Just go to Brands and drop down to Karen Davies moulds. They're all there, apart from the Christmas ones, which are about to go on on the first week of October. Unless Karen brings out her new ones before then, and then I'll have to get them all on before then. <laughs> Right, I'm doing the hydrangea. I know you've probably seen this so many times or whatever, but this looks really pretty if you put different colours into it. Yeah. You know, into oh, each, it, yeah. yeah, into each, not every flower. Yeah. It, you know, you don't want these things to take ages. You want is this your hydrangea quick. one or is this your hydrangea? Hydrangea. The hydrangea. Yeah, so it's just a, a sort of a, a marrow fat pea sort of size for the flowers you want to do. But choose your flower carefully because some of them are overlapped or behind others so yeah. it's more awkward so look for flowers that will be easy to push the paste into and like I said if you're sticky put a little bit more um, corn flour on your fingers okay so I'm going to put white behind that now I'll put a tiny little dot of glue or water behind each flower. This looks a bit big. Get it smooth. Flatten out. These are good for the cookies as well. These make lovely cookies. So that's nice and flat. Pop that on and press in. You don't want to press too hard on those the flowers that you've already done because that they can spread outwards, you know, into the others, into the other flowers at the sides of them. Let's take the excess off. It's ready to come out. Okay. Turn over. Press. Oh, there you go. That there looks pretty, go. doesn't it? But it's nice if you do like a lilac flower and blue, you know, you mix, just, um, brush mix the colours. Now. You might have the lilac in that box. I'm going to going to just, just yeah, I'm going to put some of this green into, I like putting green into the centres mm -hmm. of each flower. The hydrangea mould is lovely. And Karen does a, a nice border hydrangea mould, which is lovely as well, if you're going to go around a big cake. And, and that's really very pretty. So I'm not taking my, t you know, ages doing this. You just really just brush it over that centre, and it doesn't matter if it sort of seeps. You can out use sideways. Them, you can use the moulds for chocolate, can't you, Karen? You can, but they're not proper chocolate moulds, so you don't get like that high gloss. You don't get the. That's what I did. 
I mean, that was that was Calibo, you know, the chocolate yeah. drops just melted in the microwave. Yeah. And I just, I didn't even use a piping bag to, you know, pipe it in. I thought, oh, I just used the back of a teaspoon and dripped it in quick. Oh, so that's why there's bubbles in that's it. I could have done it better. Used, that's right, let's use Calibo now. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. When yeah. I had the Calibo agent in <laughs> last year, yeah. he said that it's yeah. all all old fashioned now. The right way to do it is put it in the microwave. Oh, really? And then we yeah, had it a, worked then, really yeah. well because I was worried. And then we had a, a master chocolatier in a yeah. few weeks ago called Ollie. Yeah. And um, he showed everybody how to use the Calibo. Mm. And when we all get stressed out for adding our cream and how much should we add, he just yeah. threw gloves yeah. of vodka in. <laughs> That sounds good. <laughs> Simon oh. thoroughly enjoyed them. Wow. Yes. Yes, he did. Oh, wow. Yeah, gloves of chocolate. Ooh, that sounds good. Tea and Marie, everything. Yeah. Had a great oh, wow. Time. Well, that sounds really good. Yeah, I just did it in the microwave, but I was careful not to overdo it. I was worried I'd burn it or whatever, you know. So I didn't temper it or anything. So it's not glossy because it's not the the proper chocolate moulds aren't made of silicon no, like they're this. Not, no. They're the hard plastic, yeah, aren't they? Right, and you yeah. polish them out yeah. and you temper your chocolate and you get beautiful yeah. sheen on the chocolate yeah. and that nice he's snap doing, and everything. Um, that was, that's melting as I look at it. <laughs> he's making those shoes in the class there. Look how pretty oh, they are. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, wow. They're gorgeous. Right, so I just finished this off. Um, I'm going to put some extra pink powder. A flat brush is really good for these hydrangea moulds because I like to just catch the petals like that. I mean, you can put two colours on. I think the peach will look really nice with that as well. And don't worry, I'm getting Ollie's name right tonight. I couldn't get his, right, his name right the other day. Oh. I'm a nightmare some days. I just can't get the right words. I, I'm amazed <laughs> if I call people by the right name. Still calling him Charlie the Ock. Charlie the Ock. <laughs> He's called Ollie the. See, there's another one. Oh. I say Ollie the Croc, which could get me into a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. So Ollie the Choc is called. Oh. And what was I calling him the other day? Crolly the Choc. What was oh. I calling him? <laughs> Johnny the Croc. Something like that. Oh. I don't know what I was calling him, but whatever it was, I couldn't get it right. Oh. So I've done the peach and pink on that and then just over with luster. Okay. That looks so pretty. So they all so sort of I think they, they all go together. really nice yeah, together do. when you're doing like the bouquets yeah. or whatever. You could paint the centres gold actually, Absolutely, couldn't you, with yeah. that? That would look gorgeous. Absolutely. Yeah. That's my new favourite thing, that gold. Yeah. My new favourite colour. Yeah, so there's lots, you know, like they're the cakes, you can do with them all as cookies, like I you know, showed you before the sandwich cookies and whatever. Um, aren't they fabulous, everyone? Aren't they? Yeah, really so. Pretty. Do you know on the overhead camera that they look really pretty in that lovely oh, pink good. there? They oh, look good. great. So there's, I mean. And just that little tinge of green. Christmas, dare I mention the C word? The These C -word. aren't decorated, I'll just show yeah. you them. You. Um, that's, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's the um, out of well, the gingerbread. You can mention the, sheet, the Christmas yeah. word, but they're all mindering about your new Christmas month. Yeah, well, these are last year's. Yeah. So, you know, we love these from well, last year. Been there. No, not the new ones. Oh, not long. It won't be long. They were really cute, yeah. those yeah, ones. Well, yeah, that's yeah. off the Christmas yeah. one that's got the um, Santa with it and the snowman. Yeah. And then that's got a little girl as well, that gingerbread. And different sized gingerbread people. Yeah. So. I yeah, so I think, back on again, aren't I? yeah, I think that's just about it now. Um, Good. So what do we think, everybody? I think you're look on the dot there, it's Karen, 10 o'clock. What is it? Oh. Oof. Yeah. Oh, gosh. So what do we think, oh. everybody? Isn't that a fabulous oh. live, isn't it? So, um, <laughs> absolutely. So, Karen, I'm not going to come over there now. I'll leave you there to oh. say goodbye to everyone. So oh, I'll just Thank do, you all for watching. I'll just do it with my social distancing way yeah. over here. Hi. One metre. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so thanks everyone for joining us it's lovely having mm -hmm. Karen in the kitchen again and um, you know if there's anything you want of Karen's on the website have a look it's sugarandcrumbs.co.uk go to Brands Karen Davies uh, the new mould of the Halloween mould which is absolutely amazing is in stock you can grab that anything else I'm placing an order tonight so if there's any moulds that I haven't got you know feel free to email me I put the link up before anyhow just let me know and I can place that order get it in for you and then I'll um, start ordering all Karen's other Christmas moulds as soon as she lets us know that they're ready and as soon as they're ready believe me mm. I will be having them back in this kitchen yeah <laughs>
Yeah, oh, good. Thank you. Thank oh, you. you're already booked in anyhow, aren't you? Yes. So, goody good. Yes. All right then. So thank you very much. Go and enjoy your night, and um, we'll see oh. you on Thursday night. I'm back in the. I'm in the kitchen. Don't know what I'm making, but I think I'm doing something with whipping it up. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. Is that what I put down? Is it right? Okay then. I'm doing something with whipping it up. <laughs> so I'll see you then on Thursday. Thanks for joining us. Oh, I'll be in the warehouse tomorrow doing the prizes. That's what I'll be doing. And thanks, Karen, for joining us. Thank you. Us. No, thank Lovely. you. Loved it. All right, thank then. you. Cheerio. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you.